Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we began our journey towards the Zora's Domain. We didn't get too terribly far, but we helped out a few people, and I think that's pertinent to our adventure in the grand scheme of things. Anyways, we are a hero, right? Anyways, this episode, we're continuing to help people. I was going to say help fools, but Ezra's no fool. He's just a dude that needs help moving his boat. And we're going to help him thanks to these conveniently placed Zonai devices. We just put a little steering... Yeah, maybe. I don't know that that's exactly what we wanted to do, but hey, it'll work eventually. This, however, definitely needs to be placed in the right location. Can we even grab that? No, so that doesn't work. I thought maybe Link could, you know, Spider-Man it and get all, I don't know, angleized in a way that would be helpful. Can I? There we go. Goodness gracious. You'd think I hadn't played this in forever. I just recorded yesterday's episode. Yesterday. <laughs> all right, buddy. You ready? You coming? I suppose I probably need to, to detach this, but let me talk to him first so that we don't leave him. Um, yeah, I can take you down there. What? You mean that, fella? You'll take me to Florence Sandbar? Ah. Thanks! I can't tell you how much I appreciate your offering to do that. Don't forget to cut the rope when you're ready to launch. So, presumably then, he will be on the boat. He is indeed on the boat. Look at this! He even made himself a chair. All right, I don't want to cut this rope with a hammer. It's not necessarily the best cutting thing I have. Really, I don't have a whole lot of cutting things. Captain Three Reaper is probably the best bet. Drop skadoodle! Let's go, Ezra! We're on an adventure down the river. And you know, what I love most about rivers is you can't step in the same river twice. You know, the, the water is always changing, always flowing, but people, I guess, can't live like that, and we all must pay a price. All right, anyways, yesterday was the day of Disney references. Today is a new day, and that probably won't stop me, but still. What sandbar? This one over here? When I think of a sandbar, I think of, like, a grouping of sand in the middle of the water. And traditionally, that's not something that I imagine happening in a, in a river. Past those ruins, he says. Okay, so we're on the right track. It's good to know that he's going to give us updates as far as our, our direction here. What's that? Oh, it's a duck. Oh, it's drowning. Look away. Very graphic, all right? No one needs to see that. Not at your age, Ezra. Uh, but I suppose there can be sandbars anywhere where there is sand, and there definitely does seem to be sand on the peripherals of said river that we are now traveling down. So, straight down river, he says. Let's go, buddy. We're almost there, right? Is that it? I actually don't see anything. I just see more more ducks. Watch out, babies! Watch out! Oh, God! Ooh, that one nearly got assaulted. Uh, it's fine. We, we're doing all right. Whoa! Let me just mark that real quick. Huh, that's an interesting little thing. It's being positioned or held up in the sky by a root, and what's behind it? Is that the ring ruins we've heard so much about? It looks like, I don't know, like the Great Stone Monument in appreciation of donuts or something. I don't know that I love donuts enough to, to erect a, uh, a monument like that, but I do suppose maybe. Before I forget, too, we should change... Oh, we already got this one marked. Look at that. I don't remember seeing a floating thing, but perhaps I just saw it from a distance and didn't, in fact, see what it was resting upon. Either which way, we have now reached our final destination. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep all hands, feet, tongues, and elbows inside the raft at all time. Exit smoothly, carefully, and safely. Well, we made it. We, we did indeed. I was, I was giving you the exit speech. Oh. You did a great job getting us here. Where'd you learn how to handle a raft like that? I thought it'd be a rough run, but it all turned out fine. Ah. Up in the sky, there, there's something, someone coming at us! Is it Superman? A bird, a plane? It's, I guess, more bird-like than plane. We're finally caught up with you, too. I was flying around this whole area, partner, trying to find our facts when I saw you on this raft. Well, I figured you'd chase down our story, so I flew on down to help, but, uh, where are we? Uh hey! What do you think you're doing just barging in here? This place is for flowers and plants, all of them. Precious. You better watch out. You'll rule the day you trample on any of them. Oh, this lady. I remember her from Breath of the Wild. <gasps> Whoa, what's this? Ever met her before, partner? Huh? This is Sorry, ma'am. We're just looking for some farm tools that I lent to Princess Zelda a ways back. I promise we won't pick any flowers huh? or fights. 
picking them, I'm more worried about you kicking them. Wait a minute. Farm tools? Did you say something about farm tools? Ha! Oh, that's right. Some farm tools from our stable. I want them back. Ah. Oh, well, that's my fault. I have them. This area is home to Princess Zelda's plant sanctuary. She asked me to take care of this very special place with her. She loved these plants and spent a lot of time here making sure the garden beds were happy homes for them. We meant to return the tools after we finished our work here, but the princess, well, they say she went missing. And all our hard work has ruined when all these darn ruins crashed down. It's been really awful. I've been working so hard since then to try to make it all nice again. Really? That's what happened? Now that I think about it, I didn't tell the princess how soon I needed our stable's tools back. As long as they're in good condition, it's no problem. I'll just go ahead and take them with me if you're done. Now I feel guilty for some reason. Didn't mean to make you hurry it up. Mm. All this was about a sanctuary for plants and flowers, huh? It sounds like our princess to find time to work in a garden alongside folks while restoring Hyrule. Uh. I've tried to make the garden beds as perfect as they were before. It's just so hard on my own. If only someone would help. Ah. Sure. Sure, glad to help. Keep the tools a little longer. And here's a tip. Don't overwork the soil. And also... Nope, that's all I got. Uh, what's with the face? Ma! You said you'll help. I accept your offer. Ah. What? I didn't say that. Ah. Well, close enough. So, what if you don't think you'll really... What? So what if you don't say what you really think? I won't hold that against you. Now, how about you go work that soil like you said? I'll tend to the flowers. We'll have this garden back in beautiful shape by the time the princess returns. It'll be the pride of Hyrule. Oh, and here's a tip from me. Put your back into it. Ah. Oh, can't talk my way out of this one. And she'd uh, probably wreck the tools if she used them wrong. Okay, fine. Seems like I'm up the creep without a paddle here. We're down it. Either way, I'll help. Oh. You can go. I'll stay here. What else have I got to do, right? Did we solve it? Do we get $50 from Penn now? Ah. Well, seems like we got those facts we wanted, and those two, well, they worked it out all right, I guess. I can't wait to write this up. Our readers will love glimpses into the princess's life. Here she was, helping to create a garden. Truly the most riveting story the paper's ever seen. Expect it in an issue of the paper soon. It'll be a real headline. We've worked together to chase three of the stories related to Princess Zelda. You know, I don't think anyone would take you for a rookie with how hard you're working these investigations. I'm sure Tracy appreciates your efforts. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Another $50? Holla! Oh, that's right. Tracy has had nothing but nice things to say about you, partner. Seems like there's a little extra something in your compensation this time around. No surprise there. An extra $20. All right. Well, that's better than nothing, I suppose, but n neither is it very exciting either, to be honest with you. We got a lot of money. You know, we, we sold a bunch of rocks last episode and really kind of solved all our financial woes, at least for the time being. Hey, you think she'll hate me if I pull this? Ha-ha! The princess's flowers are mine. <laughs> oh, but they'll grow back, right? Oh, they'll grow back indeed. Anyways, it looks like this was all there was here. If I remember correctly, in Breath of the Wild, there was a shrine near this lady, and I don't know that she was at this spot specifically. She was guarding an area of flowers, and it might be here. Goodness knows that the landscape has changed. Ooh, what is this? Ever so slightly. Take a photo of this. We haven't seen this one before. Let's document the plants. Electric Safflina. Very good. Another carryover from Breath of the Wild. Put it in my pants. This medicinal plant grows abundantly in the Gerudo Desert. Its peculiar fibers conduct electricity, which will help increase your electricity resistance when cooked into a dish. Mm. Okay. So, we have choices now, and my choice has been made. I'm going this way to ascend up. Oh, gosh. The current's actually a little stronger than I thought. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be okay. We don't got a whole lot of stamina, but as long as we can... Yeah, we're good here. I was gonna say, as long as we can start running relatively quickly, we'll be fine. I want to go conquer this shrine. If I do say so myself, uh, we've got two shrines to do. We didn't do the shrine last episode by the Woodland Stable, so we'll hit this shrine, circle back to the next, and then continue our progression east towards Zora's Domain. I think we'll actually hit Kakariko Village before Zora's Domain. Well, who knows, really? Oh, what's this dude doing? Hello. Yeah. Hello there, sir. Have you ever visited Hebra? Or perhaps you're familiar with its largest settlement, Rito Village. Hebra's an incredibly cold region in the mountains to the northwest, and it's so chilly that spicy peppers are a must. Aww. 
One can shrug off even the most ruthless cold while eating a dish prepared with a spicy pepper. Oh, here's my horse. Now to business. Welcome to Nembus's Fine Goods. What have you got there, Nembus? He's almost named like a cloud. You've got an interesting assortment of things, none I'm particularly interested in, so I will leave you to your own devices and climb over your carriage here. I hope you don't mind. It's just the quickest way to my uh, my destination. Lazalfos? What are they doing? Ah, the traditional mating ritual of the Lazalfos first. They will hunch their backs, shifting their spine out of alignment as they gaze upon the fire, isn't it? Inappropriate. Let's not look on any longer. Let's continue up this way. We've got enough horns in our pocket. We don't need to kill any more just yet. And we still have yet to actually... Ooh, 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 it's a handy boy! Heck no! Oh, golly, gee williker. What went well with these dudes last time? I think it was the ice weapon, but we've gotten exactly zero of those. Let's use the Stalnox pulverizer and just start poking. Okay, well, poking... Poking, poke, 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 buddy, poke, poke, poke. No, the poking is not working out nearly as well as I would have hoped. Perhaps we might be better served with. Okay, we cannot equip it. Still cannot equip it. Okay, can we equip it? Thank you. With some like spinny moves. Gosh darn it, we're getting grabbed far more than I'd like to. All right, these things are grabbing me more than I grab chips at a Super Bowl party. Goodness knows, I get my fair share, all right? I've got large mitts. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the tallest dude in the world. I'm only like six foot one. But I got hands the size of friggin' Texas. And I'm gonna fill them with chips just like these friggin' hands are filling themselves with my delicious little Hylian body. Stab it! All right, I'm gonna pull a restraining order on you. The authorities are not gonna be pleased when they see you in their office once more, all right? This will be like the seventh complaint I filed against you. Goodness me. All right, Phantom Ganon assuredly is on his way out. I am dying. I actually, thank goodness, I got one more of these. I was going to say, I don't have any, but I don't have any real good food either. Uh, we eating mushrooms tonight, baby. We're getting mm, fungi tonight. Let's get a poker because this will keep him at bay or at least at an arm's length away. To that I say, hey, what a wonderful time today. Oh, God. I don't know how many. Do we have any more fairies? We got two more fairies. Okay, so we got a little bit of an insurance policy in case he, you know, continues to be strong. Woo. Yeah, you very, you very intimidating, Mr. Phantom Ganon. My pulverizer's damaged. What kind of crap is that? I broke it on his sternum. It's fine. Got a gloom sword. I'm going to take a photo of that while he's exploding nearby. Very good. We've gotten quite efficient at dealing with this menace, if I do say so myself. We have room for the sword? We do indeed, because we broke the pulverizer. It's over there. It's a mushroom person. I know we're going to the shrine, but this is probably a Yiga clan member. And I could use some bananas. I could definitely use some bananas. Hello, mushroom! I'm glowing. Hi. It's not cancer. Hello there, I hope your travels are treating you well. So I take it if you've struck up a conversation with a fashion-forward type like me all the way out here, you must also be searching for pieces of Misko's treasure. What's that? Oh, oh you don't know. There was once a legendary bandit by the name of Misko, but thievery wasn't what made them a legend. It was his ginormous left foot. It was their unparalleled fashion sense. It is said that Misko collected rare outfits from all over the world and hid their pieces throughout Hyrule. <laughs> it may only be a story, but who can resist the call of garments like that? For fashion lovers like me, Misko's treasure is the ultimate score. That's why we're out in force trying to find it. Oh. So fate and fashion must be brought the two of us together, right here. Shall I tell you where the- Yeah, please. <laughs> I thought it might strike your fashionable fancy. Now, do you have a map? Yes, you're just gonna mark it there? That would be very convenient. Uh. Here's what I heard. It's right here. Okay, that's a little bit out of the way. To be honest with you, that's right next to a shrine we completed last episode. What piece of fairly wild outfit from Misko's collection said to fill the wearer with power is around there. Oh, two spots. Very snappy outfit from Misko's collection. Keep you safe and lightning. <laughs> two spots? All of these information comes from my other fashion-forward friends who travel in other regions. I'm not sure if they fit my personal sense, but you never know. 
If you're attempting a difficult journey, I'm sure the tiles could come in handy. Uh, it reminds me, do you know about great fairies? I mean, yes, but uh, they haven't been of much help. They have long existed, and they bless the clothes, but they have ugliness on the land, so I've heard they have gone away. But I think there was one in the north. I don't know what that could be oh. about. I'm sorry, i had gone on. It's been a while since I talked fashion. Uh, but time for me to get back to searching. Bye! See you later, friend. You sound very much like my grandmother. Uh, let's go do this shrine. But... But the clothing. This one's not, I guess, super convenient to anything. But this one's right by a shrine we have completed. Like, look at that. In fact, we got rid of that stamp because we already did that. Uh, okay. Well, it looks like we've got an agenda starting to, to line up. I know we're moving towards Zora's domain. Slowly but surely. Uh, <laughs> but come on, it's clothes, people. Goodness gracious, have you seen a JC Pennies around here? A Ross, a TJ Maxx. No, there ain't no bargains to be found. Hold on, what's this? I see a shrine. I see two shrines lined up. The shrines are aligned. Ooh, it's quite fine. Where are they at? Uh, well, look at that. There's one right by it. Okay, well, you know, just adding a little bit more credence. To the fact that I think we should go get that clothes. That clothes? The clothes? Said article of clothing? Anything else we can see from here? We're kind of a good spot. There's a... A geoglyph, which reminds me... When's the last time we looked at a geoglyph? There wasn't one over in Akala that we missed, was there? Oh, gosh. I'm gonna... It's gonna give me gas if we did. I... Come on. Where is it? I am... Oh, did I, de did I delete it? Did I delete it? What? No, I didn't. Okay. I was like, what? Uh, we came close to a geoglyph in Aqua. It doesn't look like we actually missed one. It looks like there's one, like, over here. So whenever we get around to this portion, which is where we are ultimately heading, because I believe this is Zora's domain. So we'll hold on to that. But that's a geoglyph. I'm going to throw a little marker right there just to remember. I don't... Mm, what do we want? Geoglyph. Geo, so the towers are hearts. Shrines are this little crystal thing. I guess geoglyphs are stars. Because they're very special. Anyways, can we ascend up this? Potentially? Just get our way in this route. No, 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 no. Let's not tumble down the mountain. We need to go up, in fact. Imagine that. We do have some energizing rice balls in our pocket. So if we need the extra stamina, well, I guess we're equipped to have exactly that. I don't think we'll need it, though. If you look at this here, we have almost two full wheels of stamina, which, in the grand scheme of things, not necessarily a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's about as much stamina as I have presently, all right? I can barely run a mile in, like, eight minutes. A little out of shape. It's fine. But it is enough to climb ominous roots, amazingly holding up platforms like this. I don't even think the root was touching the ground, so this platform's hovering... And the root is, is dangling, just nearly, nearly touching the surface of the earth itself. And look at this. We've even got enough stamina to do some friggin' maneuvers. Very well done, Link. And as a reward for our efforts, do we get anything beyond just the shrine? There's this thing. The Morok Shrine. It's like Koroks, but it's like a slur. You know, if a Korok is... A bully Korok, and they're, and they're mean to some of the Korok kids at school. They call them a Morok. That's not very kind, all right? Then they get sent outside, and they got to sit in the sun. And Koroks don't necessarily like that, all right? Yes, they are a plant-based, and they, you know, photosynthesize the sun's energy into their own. But they burn, all right? If it's a hot, dry summer day like we get in Colorado, uh oh, man, they're going to set on fire. It's going to be sick. So that's why it's a punishment. We can hop, skip, and jump up this and go down it, too. Look at this. Got a couple things. There's a spring and a chest. Very good. I'm glad there's a spring so we can get out of here quicker than we got into it. Large charge. Solid. Anything else? It doesn't seem like it. Up, skadoodle. McDoodle noodle. Let us see what the Morok has in store for us today. Uh, again, similar, I think, to the last shrine we did. Uh, this one is close to Lookout Landing, so I'm 
not certain, but relatively confident that it's going to be an easier shrine, right? Because the game might have assumed that we would have been here earlier. However, it does take a decent amount of stamina to get up here. I mean, of course, you could have you could have cooked things to give you the stamina, but I don't know. But the point is, I have no idea. A bouncy device. Okay, I just I just bounced off a bouncy device to get out of that little pit. Doesn't look like there's actually anything we need to do here. Woo, we timed that up solid. Look at that. And just a sprinkle dingle right here. Okay. Well, sprinkle me dingle, Mr. Pringle. I don't have shingles, so we can mingle. Got another one. That looks like the exit. What is this right here? Doesn't even look, it doesn't look like a button. It looks like a pedestal of sorts. That is a button or a hole inside of the gate beyond it has more springs. Okay. What about over here? Does this launch us? You know, I've seen these things before in other shrines, both in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Um, this one seems to be defective. Maybe we have to use the spring here uh, and launch ourselves. It's probably what it wants. It does seem like the springs are uh, the item of emphasis in this shrine. So let's smack that. Whee! Look at that, that was pretty sweet. I didn't even have to pull out my friggin' parachute. We get a ball. Okay, well, hold on. We should probably not use the ball just yet. We probably want to get this set up and then place the ball on top of it. Um, looks good to me. Mm, looks good to me. Now ball, I'm gonna have to ask you to hold on to your hat. I know you're not wearing a hat, but as a figure of speech, just get ready. This thing's about to get just a mildly turbulent. Can we go with them? I'm not even going to test it because I don't want to... Whoa! See you later. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, no, no, no. Where are you going? Can we go over there without the spring? Yeah, we don't even need to use the spring. Cool. And now we get access to what I thought would have been the chest. But no, it's two springs. What if we jump on the springs? I'm guessing we need the springs to get up there. That's a very large jump. But is there like a chest up here? No chest. No chest? I'm going to do it anyway. Well, I'm going to do some weird acrobatics because Link's a show off. Now I'm going to test this out. I've gotten as high as possible. It doesn't necessarily mean anything for us. Okay, well, there's always a chest in every shrine. Where is this one? Where is this one? Maybe we'll see it once we launch from here. Once we get, you know, as elevated as possible. I guess we gotta reset this one, don't we? Can we just get up here? Sinks down, buddy! There we go! Oh. We're up here now! Oh, hey! This is the chest! Ah! So we need to do three springs in order to leave. You got a sneaky elixir! I think we already have one of those. Can't have too many, though, I suppose, right? Well, I guess unless you're running out of inventory space, and then that's kind of exactly what the case is. But we do not we do not have a limited supply of inventory slots just yet, at least as it relates to, uh, to food. Weapons? Yeah! The supply is very limited, actually. Woefully so. It makes me sick to think about. We're going to forget it and stop talking about it. We're going to leave! That's... Oh, I love that. It looks like fun. I always have loved jumping on a trampoline as a child, I guess. I haven't jumped on a trampoline since I was, like, 25. I'm in my 30s now. <laughs> but if I jumped on a trampoline now, I'd probably break my hip. I'm an old man. We got six orbs. That's one and a half upgrades. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Uh, we, we should have, last episode, or the episode prior, we should have upgraded our stamina at Lookout Landing. By the time we get to another goddess statue to pray, we are undoubtedly going to have two rewards to gain. And I know that I want to put the very next reward into stamina to complete that second wheel, but I'm not certain what I want after that. Do I want to start on a third stamina wheel, or do I want hearts? A lot of people say that stamina is just not as important in this game, and to that I'd say, I mean, I guess you're right, but I still really like it for the running perspective. Is this... Yeah, that's, that's that one. Okay, so we already have that marked. 
I don't want to go there just yet. I want to go to these ones over here. Let's see here. So that is the geoglyph. Do I though? Ah, uh, shoot. I'm at it. I oh, I am indecisive right now. All right. I'm gonna talk through my thought process here. So I, on the whole, I am planning to get to here. All right. This is the next goal. I'm definitely not going into this region or this region. I really don't want to go into this region just yet. But shoot, if we're going to fly over to get this shrine, this shrine, and this piece of clothing, we're going right by this geoglyph. And, I mean, gosh, wouldn't that just make sense to stop there? But then we're going off on a whole other Kit Kat and Caboodle adventure that would get us distracted from our ultimate goal, at least for now. Which is going to Zora's domain. But if we, So if we go this way, we get this shrine, which we should have gotten last episode, and then we go this way. Probably warp over here, get the clothing. That'd be good. And then we're over here, so we might as well get this shrine. And then, and then, and then, what about the tower? Where's the tower for this area, huh? Is it that one? What is this? That's not the tower, is it? That seems so far away. That is the tower we already have marked. That's the tower in the Zora's Domain region. Where's the tower for this place? Huh? Is it behind here? It is behind here. Okay, so we do need that as well. And I'm starting to, I'm, I'm developing a plan now. So I'm actually going to edit this pin into a heart. I'm not going to get that tower, nor am I going to get the geoglyph, nor am I going to get these two shrines and the piece of equipment there. I'm going to save that for the way back out of Zora's Domain. You see, we're going to go back up here, do this, do this, and go into Zora's Domain. When we're done with all this, then we will head south and round out this whole thing. I think that makes the most sense. So we will start over here and garner Misko's treasure just because it is right skit, scat, and skaboodle next to that shrine that we did last episode at the very, very, very beginning of last episode. Man, it would have been mighty convenient if I would have realized that there was a cave, or I guess what I assume is a cave. I don't rightly know that there's a cave, but uh, treasure? I mean, come on. Treasures are going to be in caves, right? Where else would they be? Certainly not out in the open, I wouldn't imagine. It's going to be off to the left over here. Oh, and I saw those luminous stones, too. That looks like a cave entrance if I've ever seen one. Son of a biscuit. Oh, and I wasted Tolan's wind. I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. The very active river. Cross it. Yeah, we're fine. Let's do a couple dashes here. Okay. Is this something? It looks almost Karakian in nature, but I suppose that's just a couple of saplings. Hello there, Mr. Wizrobe. You look like you have just done something unsavory. You know, Wizrobe's just really not the greatest of names, is it? Wiz? Robe? You soiled yourself? Is that what the first person saw when they looked upon them and that was just their name? <laughs> Ooh, bloopy! Get yeah, bloop boop bloop boop boop boop! Bloop! Oh, that might have hit him too if I would have released it a little bit quicker. You know, Bo, I've got need for your services, my friend. Thank you kindly. Got a couple out of that. Can we still destroy this bunch? Is that still viable? Let's try it. We've got enough hammers, right? It is still viable. It had absolutely nothing inside of it. Neither did that. Neither did that. Okay. Well, hey, we tried, and I think that's worth uh, patting ourselves on the back for. We've got a whole nother one, too. Maybe I should enlist the hope of Yunuba once more. Can you do this one? Thank you, sir. Ooh, flint, huh? Flint. But it's so luminous. It's so glowy. Why is it... Why is it not the luminous stone that I crave? Oh, there we go. More flint, oddly enough, as well as a couple of luminous stones, which is good. My Henox hammer is badly damaged. It's going to break. Yup. We got nothing for its final swing. How sick. Disappointing. It's fine. Discovery! The Crenel Hills Cave. Let's get out another... Well, you know, Bo? Let me just break these ones. Flint. Very good. All right. We got a bubble frog in here, no doubt. As well. Ooh, there's a lot of stones here. As well as some treasure. We are actually not as good on hammers as I thought. We've got one. Two. I mean, we got a one-handed one and the other one. I was saving the one-handed one for enemies... But at this point, 
I just need to use a hammer, and undoubtedly by the time we do face another Talus, we should have another hammer, right? <laughs> Fingers crossed, I suppose. At the very least, we should have another item worthy of fusing to make a hammer. We certainly have enough friggin' like toenails and skulls and knee sockets in our back pocket to make a hammer. So, I think we'll be fine. Pop that open, buddy. Thank you. Lots and lots of flint. We could start all the fires if we really decided to. You know, we'd make Billy Joel quite sad. I am going to waste a bomb flower because I just want this to be quicker. And honestly, ugh, I don't, I don't feel good about leaving this stuff here, but it's taken a while to get rid of. Come on, buddy, you get this stuff. And it's not necessarily giving us the greatest ROI, you know, the greatest return on investment. It's gone now, and we got maybe like five or six luminous stones out of it, so I suppose it's not necessarily a disappointment, but there's so much more of it. It's everywhere. I want some rubies and stuff, some amber. Good deal. Where's my bubble frog? There's my bubble frog. I'm just going to get you down on the ground. Ooh, almost from a distance. I did enough to scare him and waste some arrows. What's that noise? Oh, look at this! Look at this! Isn't it just freaking great? You know, I, we're not gonna see a talus. Not by the time that we have another hammer. No, surely not. Of course not. It's impossible. There's one right here! There's one right here and he's killing me! Oh, we don't have any food either! Gosh darn it, man! Okay, LP, keep it together. Keep it together, old boy. Let's just be strategic about this here. How about we uh, equip... But well, we already have equipped. We need you to get on your face, please. Thank you, just like that. Let me up there so that I can start bashing your friggin' soft spot here, whatever this growth is. It's a pretty growth, don't get me wrong. Something of a beauty mark if I had to be- Let me kill you, let me kill you, let me kill you! Ah! Almost! Almost! In fact, I think this is worthy of a bomb flower. Ooh. Oh God. Worthy of a fairy, apparently. Okay, maybe we should not waste any more bomb flowers or anything. You know, Bo, could you? Just, yeah, that wasn't necessarily very helpful. It's okay. It's okay. We got one more hit to lay on this dude, and then he'll be done for. Come here, buddy. Throw some hands at me. Just chuck him. I'm ready. I can dodge. I hope. What are you doing? All right, Tolan, you're shooting this thing right in the stony groin. And he ain't got no jewels down there, you know what I'm saying? The only jewels he's got is top of his head. That's the jewels you should be targeting. Come here. Not the family jewels variety either. Get up. Very good. Barely as we're falling. Hot freaking dog. Whew. Does he have the treasure inside of him? Does he have a chest or something? Nope. Ooh, he's got a, a big glowy heart. Okay. We don't have anything... Yet, to, I mean, we've got a long stick, but I don't know if I want to make a, a a pounder or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather make a hammer if we had some sort of stick thing. We'll hold off for a second. Hopefully, we can find one, even if it's just like a, like a rusty claymore or something in the rocks. I think that would be better off, for me at least, in my opinion, than using the big stick poker thing. All right, I don't see any treasure chests just yet. We're going to have to continue to break things open here and find it. And I'm probably going to skip forward because this is going to be extraordinarily repetitive. I'm just going to be grabbing my friend here and throwing him at the walls. Really? One of the best friends you could ask for. You know, if I asked one of my friends right now, like, hey, dude, can you, like, you roll up in a ball and I'll break these rocks? He'd be like, no! What? You kidding me, man? But Yonobo. Yonobo questions nothing. Yonobo's like, yes, I will do it. I will destroy the rocks that are very much like me because Goron's... Well, not rocks themselves, right? They are sentient creatures with their own dreams, personalities, and uh, thoughts and everything. It's still rock-like. We got some more rocks of our own over here. I miss these ones. And this one's up on the wall, too. You know, but can you get up that? The, the wall doesn't seem like it would. It doesn't seem like rounded. No. All right, so this is a job for the bomb flower. Oh, look at that. That's a pathway, too. That's a pathway. That's probably where the treasure's at. Um, okay. Let's go up there. Can't forget about this heart. This glowy heart. And... Yeah, yeah, that is assuredly the clothing. Oh, yeah, don't. Please, you know, I'm sorry. I know you're very excited. Very excited for the clothes, and so am I. What do we get? 
Barbarian armor. Okay, super cool. This is what I expected to get in the labyrinths because that's what was housed in the labyrinths in Breath of the Wild. However, nearish the labyrinths, we got the great deities or fierce deities, excuse me, armor, which is, I think, just as good. It's like they both attack up, aren't they? That's 10 attack up and the barbarian armor and blind. Oh, it's right next to it. Exact same defense and one attack up, one sword's worth. So, yeah. We'll wear this one because the barbarian armor is just a tad too revealing. All right. Link's going to be getting in trouble. He's not going to be allowed inside the McDonald's. They say, sure, sir, the family business. All right. We can't have you showing off your underboob in a place like this. All right. That's illegal. Anyways. There doesn't seem to be anything else for us in here, so I think that I am going to figure out some way to fuse with this friggin' heart, and then I'll show it to you next time. So, thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed yourself, and with that said, I'll see you tomorrow.